The man accused of brutally bashing a high-profile ex-nomad's bikey Moody Tajur, at Bunnings Car Park has now been arrested by Queensland Police. Ex-bikey Vice President, turned influencer Moody Tajur was set upon by four men in the car park of a Gold Coast Bunnings store on Saturday. As Tajur took to social media on Monday night to backtrack on revenge threats over the attack, Queensland police detectives arrested and charged one of his alleged attackers. Harley Cranston, 31, was arrested from the Logan suburb of Park Ridge, and was charged with one count of assault occasioning bodily harm, and one count of possession of a dangerous drug. However no information is available on the other attackers. Cranston didn't appear, neither did he apply for bail when his case was briefly mentioned in Beanley Magistrates Court, although he was represented by legal aid. He will remain behind bars until his case returns to court in mid-January. According to his social media pages, Cranston is a Mongols bikey, however according to Tajur, he is not. After the attack Tajur rung Mongols high-rankers who disowned him. Cranston recently shared footage on social media of a Mongols bikey, sitting on a motorcycle being filmed performing burnouts. Cranston is known to police and has a criminal history. In 2015, then Bendito Cranston, was found in possession of a lost Queensland police gun. Police found the loaded Glock pistol, which was dislodged from an officer's belt during a pursuit, at his home in Crestmead. He was then arrested. In February 2019, CCTV showed Cranston meeting several rebels bikies at Hyperdome Shopping Center in Logan home before abruptly leaving. He is seen sprinting through the shopping center with number of rival bikies in pursuit. Moments later he is captured talking to someone inside a car when he is shot. An injured and bloodied Cranston flees the scene and is again seen running through the shopping center. Cranston didn't get medical attention until two days later and never made a formal complaint to police. Rebels Logan Chapter Sergeant at Arms Lucas James Payne was later sentenced to 13 years behind bars for this incident. After the wild attack on Saturday, Tajur initially vowed revenge and said that he has now come out of retirement. However he has since double-backed on that statement. This is what he had to say. I've actually calmed down, and the anger is gone, and I'm thinking properly, and want to be clear so no one tries to use me as a way to get their revenge, and tries to make it look like it's me. Make this clear. I have not returned to the bikies, it was an angry moment, and I spoke out of emotion. So please know, I ain't back in any crew. I want to make it clear to the gangs, that are at war with them, don't bother trying to make moves on them and make out it's me. He also posted this video. Well first of all, it took four guys. I don't do a labour like me. Jesus Christ, I don't even look that bad. Come on guys. Four or three, four, I don't know, I was pretty day there, I don't know, I can't remember half of it. Investigations into Saturday's bashing of Tajur continue as police renewed their appeal for information. Cranston's matter was adjourned to January 16, 2023 which means he will spend Christmas and New Year with other inmates.